Today's math strategies video is on multiplication and division facts. So the strategy that we're going to talk about for right now is using known facts in order to solve our facts that are more difficult and then using those to find fact families. So what we're going to do first, let's look at the problem six times eight. Okay, so I'm gonna use this bar model to kind of explain my thinking. So I'm going to divide this into six sections. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna put eight in each of these. Okay. Okay, I maybe am not sure about six times eight. It's probably, you know, my eights are a little fuzzy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a fact I already know. I am really good at my fives. Really good. So five times eight. So I'm going to block off five of these. One, two, three, four. But whoa, it's a little farther down than I thought. Right here. So one, two, three, four, five. 5 times 8. So I know that 5 times 8 is the same as 8 times 5. So 5 groups of 8 would be 40. 40. And I can count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's the same. Okay. So now I also, if now I just have 8 left. So 40 plus 8 is 48. So 6 times 8 is 48. Now, if I know this, if I know that this one fact, then I know I'll know all of my fact families. So six times eight is 48. So eight times six is 48. And 48 divided by six is eight. And then 48 divided by eight is six. So once I find one of them, I know all of them. Let's look at a little bit more difficult problem. Let's do nine times seven. Sevens are definitely a little fuzzy. I'm gonna divide this into nine sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now, once again, I do know my fives. I know my fives really well. So I know that five times seven and seven times five are the same thing. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five sets of these and I can even count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I know that this, the value of the, this section right here is 35. That leaves me with four times seven. Ooh. Four times seven, maybe I don't know four times seven, but you know what? I know two times seven, which is 14. So that means this is also 14. If two, if two times seven is 14, then I have two more, it's also 14. And 14 plus, now here's the next part. You gotta remember to add all these numbers up. I'm gonna add 14. Well, you know what? We can add all, all three up at one time. See, 14, 14, and 35. Um, this is 8, and 8 plus 5 is 13. 3, 4, 5, 6, 63. So 9 times 7 is 63. Now, once I know that, I know all the fat families that go with this. So 7 times 9 is 63. 63 divided by 9 is 7. And 63 divided by 7 is 9. So just once you find one of your facts, you'll know all your fact families. Okay, let's look at using an array to be able to um, identify all of our facts. Okay, so whenever I look at an array like this, I kind of divide it like it's a division problem. So this number over here that I'm going to put is going to be my divisor, and that's how many rows I have. Remember when you talked about you used an array for multiplication, and you would say, you know, this would be four rows of or four groups of, and then you would count the number of columns. We're going to kind of do that exact same thing. So right here we had four. Okay. And then up here we've got, so this is our divisor. 
Okay, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is going to be our quotient, which is our answer. Now, in the middle here, these, these, all of these little uh, blocks in our array is going to represent our dividend. So, I know that four times ten is forty. So that means that 40 divided by 4 is 10. And you can see that this kind of looks like a division problem, just like if you had this. This and this are the same. Now let's look at this one. I'm going to find my divisor first, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to count how what I had to have for my quotient, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 7. So I know 3 times 7 is 21. So 21 is my dividend, my quotient, my divisor. So let's do our little fact family for this out to the side. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 7 times 3 is 21, and 3 times 7 is 21. Now let's go back to this first one. So we had uh, 40 divided by 4 was 10. 40 divided by 10 is 4. And then we have 4 times 10 is 40, and 10 times 4 is 40. So this is how you can use an array to help you find all of your multiplication and division facts. That is the end of today's math strategy video.